we all want our kids to get a quality education, but just how big of an impact do bad teachers have? A new report from the state comptroller's office shows the impact of an ineffective teacher for two consecutive years on students. These students are less likely than their peers to be proficient in state assessments. The state is using the report to find ways to make sure no student has an ineffective teacher in back to back years. News Channel 5 is dedicated to making sure your kids are safe. We brought you inside Hopkinsville High School last month after parents alerted us, calling the building unsafe and deplorable. A newly approved nickel tax aims to renovate the building, but as News Channel 5 Cena Sleem reports, there's already a petition circulating to get this tax recalled. When they do leak, a lot of times you get the tar and just dirt that washes down. Hopkinsville High School was built in 1962. 57 years later, the building has leaking ceilings and walls falling apart. It was not built to accommodate the number of students and the types of programs that we have today. The Board of Education approved a nickel tax last month to go towards renovating the school. It can only be used on construction. It's a 5.5 cent tax increase on every $100 of property value. Just a little over $2 million a year. So for $100,000, you will see an increase of $55 annually. The goal is to build a new academic building here at the cost of approximately $41 million. Although the board approved the tax, there is a 45 day window to have it recalled. All we want to do is have it put on the ballot in November. Nicole Eastman is organizing the recall effort and tells us they need to get about 2,200 signatures on a petition by April 8th. There is not one person in this community that doesn't support our schools, that doesn't support our teachers, and doesn't support our children. That is not the issue. The issue is we spend a ton of money a year. And where does it go? Eastman says until voters have a clearer idea of where specifically the money will go, she thinks the tax shouldn't be implemented. Issues that we've raised and the issues that we want addressed are never going to be addressed. Implementing a tax is not something the board or anyone should take lightly. If the tax is not recalled, the district says they will start planning the design of the new academic building this year. Altogether, it will be a three year project. Why has it got to this? In Hopkinsville, Cena Sleem, News Channel 5. Christian County High School is also in need of improvements. District leaders say in 2025 they plan to have some of their current debt paid off and will look into replacing that building then.